Today, I'm going to be doing a story time. It's an interview story time. Telling about my interview experiences. I have a few. <sighs> I've had a lot of interviews, but... No. Probably not that many as other people. I got this idea because I just went to an interview today, which is Tuesday, because I'm filming early. Because, I mean, the earlier I film, the better. I'm just going to come up with a few interview stories that I've had. The first one... It was at, um, it was for a store at the mall. It was, um, I can't remember the name of the store, but it was like a geek store. Or maybe it was called the geek store. It probably, no, the nerd store. The nerd store! I'm an idiot. Okay. It's called the nerd store, and I went to an interview for that, and it was fine and everything. And then, I think that was like my first interview ever. But then after that, I kind of got... An interview somewhere else, which was kind of like more of an office job, which is kind of more what I wanted, honestly. And so I kind of, I was already in the interview process of that, and they pretty much told me that I had it. I just haven't, you know, like, it was like somebody I know, and I had an interview with her, and it went well, but then I had to go and interview with her boss, and I hadn't gotten there yet. And then the nurse or called me back and was like, oh, we, you know, we would like to offer you the job, whatever. And I said, sorry, I have a better offer. And so then I had that interview with the boss lady. And then I pretty much had the job. And then I got a call later from them saying that um, the girl who, like, place I would be taking came back. So then I didn't have the job. And that job would have been amazing, by the way. Amazing. Lots of money and... Ugh. So then I kind of, I don't know, looked out. Like, I didn't want to call the nerd store back and be like, Oh, by the way, sorry. But... <laughs> and then I went to an interview for the event center here in Utah, which is an Maverick Center. And which wasn't really an interview... I kind of just went in, they told me about the job, and then I got the job. <laughs> um, which, I'm still technically there. But I haven't worked there for, like, over a year. And I just haven't had, you know, I just haven't remembered to go out there and just hand them the shirts back and be like, by the way, I quit. <sighs> yeah, I really should do that. Anyways, <laughs> and then I wasn't getting enough hours there, so I went to an interview for Little Dogs, and <sighs> which went well. I only worked there for, for a few months, and then they fired me. <laughs> and then I went to Crystal Inn, I think. Got a job there for Kitchen, and then I quit a few months later. And then I went in for an interview for a bakery. And the first interview seemed to go well, and then they sent me, it like, they, I went in for a second interview, which was pretty much all the rest of the employees, you know, kind of got an idea of what I was like. Like, I, kept, I pretty much worked a day, so then I just, like, you know, rolled rolls, whatever. And they got to know me, they asked me a bunch of questions about myself, and I mean, like, honestly, I couldn't answer all of them, because, I don't know. It's hard talking about myself. I don't know. They just kept asking me, don't worry about yourself. And I tried everything that I could. And they're like, oh, we need more. But like, I answer better if you like, and there's like specific questions, you know. And it seemed fun. Like, I've always wanted to work at a bakery. But they called me back saying that it just wasn't a good fit. So, so yeah. And then I went for another bakery uh, um, Gardner Village, and they hired me, I worked a day, and then they called me saying, this is not a good fit, and told me not to come in anymore, which I think was really screwy, because they didn't even give me a chance. <sighs> so, and Shay also applied for that job, but... After I told her what happened, she didn't even go in for, like, an interview or something. So, yeah. <laughs> Ended up going for an interview at Hot Topic, which I'm still there. 
And that was interesting because it was my first group interview. I've never had a group interview before. I have, like, you know, I was all those. And it was fun, actually. I kind of like group interviews. But then I had a second interview and that was alone. So then I had to ask all, I had to answer all the questions that I didn't answer in the first interview. <sighs> so, but I mean, I got the job, obviously. And then today I just got back from an interview at PetSmart, which, oh, oh wait, I'm out of line. Okay. Not out of line, but you know, out of order. It was before Hot Topic. I Shay got a job. I'm pretty sure I've already explained this in like my vlog or something. I don't know. But yeah, she got <clears throat> a job at a restaurant. I like I can't remember the name of it at the top of my tongue. I mean, I can't remember it. Anyways. Cracker Barrel. There we go. Cracker Barrel. And so then she told me about a job that they're hiding there and I tried to apply for a host at first. Which was, you know, come more of my thing. And the interview was like it was terrible. <laughs> to be honest. The guy, I could hardly understand. I could have heard him over the phone when he asked for an interview. So I couldn't understand the guy and I tried to joke, but apparently he's not the joking type, which joking always gets me somewhere because that's my thing. <sighs> but, and so I didn't get the job as a host. Um, but then I went back later for a, a grill cook. I went back for a grill cook, got the interview and the funny thing is like, I didn't really want the job and I told him that and I was like completely honest like I don't want the job I'm just here for the money pretty much and then he offered me the job on the spot didn't give me any time to think about it like it seemed really hard and fast and I don't know like I can I can do fast it's just grilling's not my thing okay so <laughs> it'd be really hard and then like, in the moment he asked me, um, okay, should we do this? And I'm all like, okay, let's do this. And so then I feel that background check and everything. And I was going to go back in for orientation and I set up the date and everything. And then like the night before orientation, after I had time to think about the job, I called them saying, I don't want the job because it's not a good fit. And so that was kind of a bad experience because, like, I feel like employers should not just give you the job, you know? I feel like they should give you time to think about the job because you're thinking about, you know, job and they're thinking about hiring you. You guys both need time to actually think about this. Like, I'm sorry, but that was not really smart on their part. <laughs> I You can't just, like, you know, throw it at me and offer the job, offer me the job, and I'm like, okay, when I haven't actually had time to think about it. I don't know. So, yeah, the interview today was a lot better. Pretty much, there were supposed to be two interviews, like, three interviews, I think. One over the phone, which was, like, basic questions, and then the second interview, which was today, and... It was letting me know about like what the job is like so that I know what I'm getting myself into. And which was good and I told him that and I'm like, yeah, there's this experience <clears throat> at this restaurant and he didn't give me time to think about it and it was it was bad. Like when I called Cracker Barrel to tell them that I didn't want to work there. I like, I barely got the words out saying, oh, well, this is not a good fit. And then they immediately, like, immediately, sorry, immediately hung up on me. And then later on, somebody else called me, like, um, 
like I like are you coming in for orientation and I'm like no I decided I didn't want this job and they're like oh okay like it was like confusing for them they just weren't professional I just I gotta be honest they weren't professional <laughs> But the PetSmart, they are, the today they were more professional and, you know, they're giving me time to think about it. They're going to call me a few days for a second interview and by then I should, you know, have an answer if I want to work there or not, which I'm pretty sure I want to, but, you know, I just got back from the interview, so yeah, I need time to think about it. Yeah, and the third interview is more like interview questions, like, more like an interview. And... Yeah, I just like them a lot better. I don't know. Maybe I just had a bad experience with Cacker Barrel. Because, I mean, I don't know. Shay seems to like it there. So, kind of an update. Sorry, I'm like, I haven't gotten dressed yet. And it's four. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I'm editing. And a couple of days ago, I hung out with Shay after I filmed this. And she told me, honestly, that she doesn't really like it there. <laughs> So, I don't, like, I'm not trying to, like, really hate on Cracker Barrel. I just don't want to work there, and Shay doesn't like working there, but I love the food, so don't, like, stop going to Cracker Barrel, because it's, 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 it's good to be a customer there, but don't work there. No. <laughs> it was horrible for me. And they weren't professional. That's all I have to say about it is that they were just weren't professional in my opinion. I like eating there. It's like one of my favorite places to eat, but I'm not gonna try apply for there anymore because it just it was bad. <laughs> it was bad. <clears throat> so yeah. <laughs> that's my little rant. So that's all the interview stories I have for you today. It was kind of more like interview slash job stories. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. And today's shout out is a little different. They don't follow me. They haven't really liked any of my stuff on social media. And she's already like YouTube famous, so she doesn't really need a shout out. But kind of just want to take this time to like, you know, thank her. And it's Gabby Hanna or The Gabby Show. She is my favorite YouTuber because um i really relate to her I, I i adore her i look up to her i want to be just like her why st i'm still doing youtube and why i talked about you know social anxiety and a lot of that stuff <laughs> that's kind of personal but you know i want to be like her as an inspiration i want to inspire other people and let them know that they can talk about anything and be open so yeah i just like you know to shout out to her because she's my favorite youtuber and i love her so thank you guys for the love and support keep doing what you're doing subscribe if you haven't already um follow all my social media be active on there and you can be next week shout out so yeah subscribe subscribe to kirby and shay subscribe to shay and i love you guys bye